Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So today we're going to be taking a look at GPS spoofing with a hack RF on Windows. So what's going to be required? Well, for software, we're going to need three pieces of software. We're going to need GPS SDR SIM. It's a simulator software which is available via GitHub. We're also going to need a GPS broadcast file, the latest. I'll show you where you can download that from. And we're also going to need HackRF transfer. Now you can either compile this yourself or as I've done, I've downloaded Pothos SDR and you'll find in the installation folder that HackRF transfer has already been compiled and is ready to be used. Now hardware required, obviously it's going to be the HackRF. You're going to need a Windows computer. Now I'm using Windows 10 and then you're going to need some kind of device for receiving the GPS signal that the HackRF is transmitting. In this case, I used an Android phone and used an application to show the GPS signal stats and also a map. We'll come on to that shortly. So let's start downloading the software that we're going to need and start getting this system working. So the first application is GPS SDR SIM. You can get this from the GitHub page as pre-compiled Windows binary or executable file. You can just go ahead and download the zip file. Once it's downloaded, just uh, go ahead and uncompress it. What we need to do now is grab the broadcast file. It's the daily broadcast file and you can get it from this particular FTP location here. It's listed in the GitHub page. Uh, simply navigate to that URL. Uh, go to the correct year, obviously I'm in 2019 at the moment, click 2019, scroll to the bottom of this list and you'll see the folder here. And then you want to scroll right to the bottom to find the latest file for this. Download this file. What you want to do then is uncompress it and copy it into the same folder as your GPS SDR SIM folder. So at this point, we're pretty much ready to generate our GPS simulated bin file. So open up a command prompt to navigate to the folder where you've got GPS SDR SIM installed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Google Maps or whatever mapping software that you want. And I'm going to just find a, a GPS coordinates that you want to simulate. So as you guys probably know, I'm located in the UK. So let's pick somewhere that's not in the UK. Let's do somewhere in the States. We uh, zoom down somewhere. Okay, let's go smack bang in the middle, shall we? How about somewhere like Kansas? I think that might uh, I think that might work quite well. And there we go, we've got our GPS coordinates show up down there at the bottom. And there we go, it's taken us zoomed in. And I can just copy these here. And we're going to need these coordinates to put into our command line to generate our GPS SIM bin file. So let's take a quick moment to have a look at the command line before we execute it. So we have GPS-SDR-SIM space dash B8 dash E. We then have BRDC3560.19N dash L and then latitude, longitude, comma, height. So let's just look at the first part of this. So we've obviously GPS SDR SIM is the application name that we're about to execute. Uh, dash B8. Now I've added this in here because I found that by declaring this to be 8-bit, it works a lot better with the hack RF. The file name there that ends in .19n, this is the broadcast file file name that we downloaded from the previous page that I showed you, the FTP page. Now, don't forget this file name will probably change as time goes on. So when you download your file, it probably isn't going to be the same name as this. So you have to change your command line here to match it. Then what we have is the latitude and longitude. As you can see here, it says 39.08 comma dash 94.57, etc. That's the latitude and longitude, which I grabbed from Google Maps. So if you want to find a specific place, I mean, you can use the same coordinates that I've used if you want to, to make sure that it's working, or you can go ahead and get your own. And then I believe the last figure there on the end is the comma 100. That's the uh, height above sea level. So we're pretty much ready now to execute this. And what it's going to do, it's going to generate a bin file based on these settings that we've provided. And then what we're going to use is HackRF transfer application to transmit that binary file, which is effectively GPS spoofing. So let's just run this process and generate our file first. Now 
Now I have just speeded this process up because it does take a couple of minutes to generate. It actually generates a bin file which lasts 300 seconds when it's transmitting. Okay, so once it's finished processing that, you can just confirm that the GPS sim.bin file is in the same folder as where you've got GPS SDR sim executable. Now we need a way of now transmitting this file and we use HackRF transfer for that. Now you can either go ahead and compile it yourself or you can use the easy option that I did and download Pothos SDR software. Install this, we're not actually gonna use the software, but when we go ahead and look in the installation folder, once it's installed, you'll see that you've got HackRF transfer.exe available to use. So once you've confirmed you've got HackRF transfer, I'm just gonna copy my GPS sim.bin file to this same folder. This just makes it easier so that when I run the command line, the file is already there. So now we're ready to start transmitting. So what we can do is we open up a command prompt, navigate to the Pothos SDR bin folder, and you can now execute the HackRF underscore transfer command. Now this will transmit that GPS sim.bin file as an RF signal from the HackRF. You can just copy this command line as shown on the screen. It's also shown on the GitHub page if you wanna copy and paste it. Now on the right hand side of the screen here, this is a screen grab from my Android device. This is using a app free application called GPS Status. And I'm just gonna use this just to make sure that the Android device, which is right next to the HackRF, is actually picking up the GPS transmission from the HackRF and that it's actually gonna be receiving and decoding the correct GPS coordinates that I'm transmitting or spoofing. So as you can see on the left, we are transmitting our GPS coordinates and on the right, we're just waiting for the application to detect those transmissions. And there we go, we've now successfully receiving these. So let's switch over to maps. So hopefully what should happen is when we load up maps, it should actually show us that we are not in the UK and we are in Kansas and there we go, it has worked. So as you can see here, the spoofing from the HackRF it's actually making my Android device, which is right next to my HackRF, think that we're in Kansas. But in reality, we're not actually in Kansas anymore, Toto. Anyway, I hope you find this video interesting. Please make sure that if you're gonna do this yourself, ensure that you are in a controlled environment, as they say. For me, I'm actually sat inside through literally two feet thick walls, and I know for a fact that my HackRF is not transmitting any more than a few meters, because as soon as I move my device away a bit further, it actually doesn't work. Now that's primarily because the antenna I've got connected to my HackRF is totally not designed for the frequency that this is transmitting on, which is around two and a half gigahertz. So it doesn't work very well at all, and I have to have the Android device literally set on top of the HackRF. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next video, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.